had a real good friend of mine uh, growing up in the elementary school where we used to go and we would catch a spider and then we would look at it and then we would jar it and then find books on spiders and try to find out what kind of spider there was. My name is Jose Burgos and I am a reentry specialist. I was a good kid. I was a good kid. I was somebody um, who was interested in science. Losing my mom at the age of 13, I think really, really had a, a really strong impact on me. Seventh grade, I ended up dropping out. I started hanging around with kids that were, who I went to school with, um, who were already involved in, in the gang life. What I ended up losing at home with my mother um, was actually something that I was looking for on the streets. Gangs provided me um, a false sense of family. I, I always felt that you know, like I didn't belong there. Uh, I was 16 years old when the crime was committed. I still don't think that at the time I really realized the seriousness. It wasn't, I think, until I got like a little bit older that I really, really understood. It, it really, it really bothered me. It really bothered me because I would think about the mother. I would always think about the mother having two twin sons. And every time that she was taking care of her son, the one that survived, she was always reminded of the son that she lost. So that's always something that, uh, <clears throat> that I've carried. It never goes away, you know what I'm saying? It never goes away. It's, it's something that, for me, I think is, is something that drives me in, in the work that I do today because I wanted something good to come out of, uh, of such a bad situation. You know, having that type of attitude is actually, um, is one of the things that made me survive, you know, that you know, 27 years of incarceration. So I always wanted to keep my, my mind um, healthy and, and, and keeping my mind healthy was always at least having some type of hope. I was released uh, in October of 2018. I, when, I, when I got out, I got involved with uh, ICANN, um, uh, the Incarcerated Children's Advocacy Network. It's an organization um, made up of juvenile lifers. We advocate to abolish life without parole for children. Who better um, to deliver that message to legislators than those who actually went through it? I think if anybody deserves a second chance in this country, it's the children. At the State of Public Defender's Office, I ended up getting a job as a reentry specialist. Um, and so I work with um, clients who are in the process of being released, in the process of seeing the parole board. If they need resources, even though we're not a direct resource, um, I connect the dots, you know, you know, if they need some help and they need something, um, you know, I don't know where I'm gonna find it, but I'm gonna find it for them. Out of all these years of incarceration, the one real good thing came out of it that I discovered the purpose that I, I didn't even know was even there. Wanting to, to make something good come out of that situation is actually happening as, as we speak. Children deserve a second chance, and if given that opportunity, um, they can come out here and, and become very productive uh, in society.